It's silly, this is nuts. Mm -hmm. However, things have changed now. The paradigm has shifted. The multiverse idea, once thought to be so crazy it only belonged on evening night television, has now become the dominant theory in cosmology. Avoid the theory of the multiverse. It looks like the laws of matter may have changed. In a breathtaking announcement, the CEO of Microsoft celebrated what they call a new state of matter. This groundbreaking revelation has sent shockwaves through both the tech and scientific communities. Microsoft has made an astonishing claim. They have accessed parallel universes with the help of a new quantum AI chip. But, of course, there's a catch. Before getting too excited about the possibility of interdimensional travel or communication, it's important to understand that what Microsoft is doing isn't as straightforward as it may seem. Let's break down this stunning revelation, examine the science behind it, and explore the big question. What's the catch? Microsoft has made bold claims about advancements in quantum computing and AI before, but this latest announcement is something entirely different. The world is now wondering, has quantum computing finally unlocked a door to parallel universes? Or is this just an incredibly ambitious marketing stunt? Understanding the technology. Quantum computing is still in its infancy, with major players like Microsoft, Google, IBM, and others making significant strides toward practical applications. Unlike classical computers that use bits, which can be either zero or one, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This phenomenon, known as superposition, allows quantum computers to process enormous amounts of data at once, solving complex problems far faster than traditional computers. The Multiverse Theory and Parallel Universes When discussing parallel universes, we enter the realm of quantum mechanics and the multiverse theory. This theory suggests that for every possible outcome of a situation, a corresponding universe exists where that outcome has played out. For example, if you flip a coin and it lands on heads, there's a parallel universe where it landed on tails. While not universally accepted, the multiverse theory has gained traction among some of the brightest minds in physics. Microsoft's quantum AI chip, the QX1. So how does Microsoft claim to be accessing these parallel universes? The answer lies in their new quantum AI chip, the Q's X1. Designed to harness the power of quantum computing and AI, this chip simulates complex systems, including alternate realities. The QX1 leverages quantum entanglement and quantum tunneling, two key phenomena in quantum mechanics, to create simulations of parallel universes. Quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two particles become interconnected, meaning the state of one particle instantly affects the state of another, regardless of distance. Theoretically, if particles could be entangled across vast distances, it could enable access to information from parallel universes. Quantum tunneling, a process that allows particles to pass through barriers that would otherwise be impenetrable. By combining these two phenomena, the QX1 chip can model a vast range of possibilities, including those from alternate realities. Microsoft suggests that by simulating these quantum states, the chip can analyze potential outcomes across different realities and provide insights otherwise impossible to obtain. This could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, climate change solutions, and other complex problem solving. The catch. The excitement surrounding Microsoft's claim is tempered by some significant limitations. While the QX1 chip may simulate parallel universes, it does so in a highly controlled environment. The quantum states it creates are far removed from actual alternate realities. Think of it as looking through a foggy window at a distant landscape. You may catch glimpses of something, but you can't fully interact with it. While the chip can simulate possibilities within the quantum realm, it doesn't actually allow access to or manipulation of these parallel universes. In other words, Microsoft has not developed a means to travel between dimensions or communicate with them. Instead, the QX1 functions as a powerful simulation tool rather than a gateway to other realities. Many people misinterpreted the announcement, believing that Microsoft was claiming to have accessed and interacted with actual parallel universes. However, the reality is far more subtle. The QX1 chip 
is a sophisticated tool for modeling potential outcomes, but does not enable direct interaction with alternate dimensions. Potential Applications Despite these limitations, the potential applications of this technology are fascinating. For example, the QX1 chip could revolutionize fields like medicine and climate science by allowing researchers to run simulations across different possible realities. This would enable scientists to test different strategies for combating diseases or mitigating climate change without the need for real-world experimentation. It's like having a supercharged version of trial and error, testing thousands of scenarios in a fraction of the time. Additionally, the chip could lead to new discoveries in fields such as material science and artificial intelligence. Given how early we are in quantum computing development, the possibilities remain mind-blowing the long road ahead. However, the QX1 chip is still in its early stages. Microsoft acknowledges that it will take years, if not decades, before the technology is refined enough for widespread use. Quantum computing remains incredibly challenging, as quantum states are extremely delicate and easily disrupted by environmental factors, a problem known as decoherence. For the QX1 chip to function effectively, Microsoft will need to overcome these obstacles and ensure that it can maintain stable quantum states over extended periods. So, where does that leave us? While Microsoft's claim of accessing parallel universes is bold, the technology behind it is still in the realm of theory and experimentation. The QX1 chip may simulate parallel universes, but it is far from providing the interdimensional breakthroughs some might have imagined, at least for now. A glimpse into the future. Ultimately, Microsoft's QX1 chip represents a stepping stone rather than a finished product. It's a glimpse of what could be possible when we push the boundaries of technology and delve into the strange, unfamiliar world of quantum mechanics. While we're not yet able to interact with parallel universes, the potential of quantum computing remains vast. Microsoft's announcement signals an exciting future, but it's essential to temper our expectations. We're only at the beginning of a long journey, one that could eventually lead to breakthroughs we can only dream of today. As quantum computing continues to evolve, the ride is bound to be thrilling. To summarize, Microsoft's new quantum AI chip, the q x one has the potential to simulate parallel universes using quantum entanglement and tunneling. However, it does not actually allow access to these universes. The technology remains in its infancy, with numerous technical hurdles to overcome before it becomes a practical tool. Even with these limitations, the possibilities are vast, and this announcement marks an exciting step forward for quantum computing and AI. The future remains wide open, and we are just beginning to scratch the surface of what quantum technology can achieve. The Ethical Dilemma With such powerful technology emerging, ethical concerns become paramount. If quantum AI can predict multiple possible futures, who decides which ones to pursue? Governments, corporations, and researchers will have to grapple with questions of fairness, transparency, and the potential misuse of quantum simulations. Could these simulations be used for financial market manipulation, political forecasting, or even predicting human behavior on an unprecedented scale? Another concern is the accessibility of quantum computing. If only a few powerful entities control this technology, it could widen the technological divide, giving immense power to those who can afford to harness it. Open source initiatives and regulatory oversight may become necessary to ensure that quantum advancements benefit humanity as a whole rather than a select few. The Next Steps as Microsoft and other companies continue their research, we may see practical quantum applications emerge in unexpected areas, from cryptography and secure communications to energy-efficient computations. Quantum technology is poised to reshape multiple industries. For now, the QX1 remains a fascinating experiment rather than a practical tool for accessing alternate universes. But as history has shown, what starts as an experiment often leads to revolutionary discoveries. The journey of quantum computing has just begun, and its impact on our world is yet to be fully realized. While the claim is undeniably provocative, the consensus among specialists is one of cautious optimism rather than unbridled excitement. 
Many experts appreciate the bold narrative as a means to draw attention to the rapid evolution of quantum technologies, yet they remain careful not to conflate theoretical simulations with practical breakthroughs. Leading voices in the field acknowledge that advances in quantum simulation represent a promising frontier for computational science. These experts emphasize that such developments have the potential to revolutionize how we model complex systems, ranging from chemical reactions to emergent phenomena in condensed matter physics. However, they also stress that any claim suggesting a direct link to physical realities beyond our own must be met with a healthy dose of skepticism. The distinction between simulating scenarios in a controlled environment and having tangible access to novel states of matter is a critical one that cannot be overlooked. Several researchers have pointed out that this type of announcement tends to blur the lines between metaphor and measurable progress. For instance, some argue that language evoking alternate dimensions or parallel realities is more evocative than descriptive. In their view, such terminology is often employed as a marketing strategy to encapsulate the impressive yet nascent achievements in quantum hardware. By drawing on imaginative concepts, companies may capture the public's imagination, but experts remind us that the journey from simulation to application is a long and arduous one. The current focus is on overcoming significant technical challenges such as maintaining quantum coherence and developing robust error correction protocols. Critics within the academic community also highlight that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. They advocate for a rigorous, peer-reviewed approach to substantiate any assertions that hint at transcending traditional physical boundaries. Until detailed methodologies and experimental data are made available, many in the field remain wary of overinterpretation. They argue that while simulations can offer profound insights into theoretical constructs, they are inherently limited by the underlying assumptions and constraints of the models used. On a more optimistic note, there is a contingent of experts who believe that such high-profile announcements, even if overstated, play a crucial role in accelerating research and innovation. They contend that public interest generated by these declarations can lead to increased funding and collaborative efforts across institutions. This, in turn, may help drive the incremental improvements necessary to bridge the gap between laboratory prototypes and practical scalable technologies. In essence, the excitement serves as a catalyst, prompting deeper investigation and investment in quantum science. Furthermore, the discussion among specialists has expanded to encompass the broader implications of these developments. There is growing concern about the ethical and societal impacts of rapidly advancing quantum technologies. Scholars and industry leaders alike are considering how these tools might reshape decision-making processes in fields as diverse as medicine, finance, and environmental science. The promise of being able to simulate myriad outcomes raises important questions about accountability and control. Who will have access to these predictive capabilities, and under what regulatory frameworks will they be governed? This broader discourse underscores the importance of coupling technological progress with thoughtful policy and ethical oversight. In conclusion, while the recent claims have undoubtedly captured headlines, the expert community urges a balanced perspective. The excitement surrounding cutting-edge quantum simulations is tempered by a rigorous understanding of the scientific process, where bold claims must be substantiated through careful experimentation and peer review. As the research continues, it is clear that the true potential of these technologies will unfold gradually. Experts are united in their belief that while the journey toward practical quantum applications is filled with challenges, the ongoing dialogue between innovators, researchers, and policymakers will be essential in charting a responsible and transformative path forward.